Hey, what's good guys? Welcome back to the stream. Good to see you guys in the chat tonight. Uh, drop some likes, say what's up. Uh, let me know that you're here, that you're watching, and that you're ready. Man, I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm really excited for this live stream. So, as always, I hope it goes well. I hope people show up. You know the deal. Eh. Started, a late, started a little bit later than I wanted to, but I mean, that's literally every live stream that I do. Alright, let me fix my camera real quick. Come on. I always have to hold like a white envelope or something in front of the camera to make the colors change. For I don't I don't know how to explain it. All right, I think that's good enough. Guys, what's up? Drop them likes. Say what's up. Uh, we're back with a big stream tonight. So we've done a couple uh, a couple streams opening up booster boxes, yeah. But the last two we did were the same booster box. This one is a new box. It's not a new box. It's an old box, but it's new to us. So uh, we've never done this on stream. No Thomas. You see the thumbnail, my man? I didn't have any money to buy lottery tickets tonight. I got murdered last night. Absolutely destroyed. So... I got my box in the mail that I ordered like a week ago, so we're going to do this tonight. This box cost $160. $160 for this box. So it's quite a bit more expensive than the previous boxes that we've done. I've done two on stream, both the Vivid Voltage set, which just dropped recently, and I bought each of those boxes for $110 with tax. This box cost me $160 with tax. So it was like $150 or $140 something. I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty expensive. That's pretty expensive for me. I mean, I know that's not, you know, at the top of the scale when it comes to Pokemon card boxes. I mean, there's booster boxes that cost a half a million dollars. So, uh, you know, but still, that's a lot of money for me. So this set's dope. I'm excited to hop into it. Problem, though. I don't have any card sleeves at all. So I have to go and we have to take cards out of the sleeves so we can put better cards in the sleeves. Man, there's some really neat looking stuff in here. Even if you don't know what the hell you're looking at, you'll know when we get something good. You'll definitely know it. All right, let me do this here. I don't like sports cards. I don't... I'm just not into it. I don't like baseball. I don't like basketball. I don't like football. I mean, it's not that I don't like it. I mean, I'll watch it, you know, and enjoy it. But I don't care enough to keep up with who's who and how many field goals they have. You know, how many rushing yards, how many this and I, you know, I just, I mean, it's, it's some people are into it. I'm not. I'm not. We all have what we like. You know what I'm saying? We all have what we like. Now, whether you like pokemon or not whether you've played pokemon or not it doesn't matter we're here to pull the big money is what i'm saying so even if you don't know what the cards are or, or what they do you don't play the game i don't play the game either i don't play the card game i've played the you know the the video games the nintendo game boy games and stuff i've never played the card game i like to collect cards you know what i mean so I've given this example about a million times, but it's like, a, it's gambling, literally gambling. Just like you buy a lottery ticket trying to get, you know, like the 500 ticket. I spend $5 and I have a chance to get the $500 win. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with this. I buy a pack of cards. I have a chance, a very slim chance to pull the rarest card in the set. The rarest card in the set is worth a lot of money. So, for my gambling people out there, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. You don't need to know the name of the of the thing. Or I can't even pronounce half of them. You don't need to know uh, all this other information. All we gotta know is how much is it worth. 
Which it's not all about the money to me. I, li I like to collect these cards. I need to get some binders. I need to I bought a binder down at Target. Really nice binder. I don't like those big, ugly, like hard, bulky binder things. Mine is like it's it's over there. I don't feel like going and getting it, but it's like really nice. Really nice. I think I paid like fifteen dollars for it. And I have two different sets started in there, and I don't have enough room for the other all, all the other ones that I have, so. Uh, when I first started started opening up these cards, it was to find the rarest card, the most expensive card. But now it's kind of turning into a uh, trying to build the entire set kind of thing. You know what I mean? It makes it a lot more fun when you have all these extra cards and you try to build the entire set. So that's what I'm trying to do. I need to get some binders and stuff, though. I need to get some binders and stuff. I gotta look on Amazon, try to find... You can't... You can't buy anything at the store, man. Like, you can't buy anything at the store these days. It's completely wiped out. I still never emailed Target about the incident. I gotta do that. I, I still gotta do that. I also want to email Walmart and run them in the ground, too. Because on their website, they say they have all this shit, right? Like, this is in stock. And then it says, at your Walmart. Specifically, my Walmart, right? I get up there, and none of it's there. Which, I kind of figured that it wasn't there. Because of what it, you know, certain things that it was. Like, older packs of cards and stuff like that, that I know wouldn't be there. But for some reason, it says that it's there. Along with a whole bunch of other shit. So I get up there, and obviously it's not there. So that's bullshit. They need to get their website together. Their websites shouldn't say that stuff is there when it's not. Because somebody like me, making, I mean, I was already skeptical, but make a special trip, clear up to Walmart, it's not down the street, it's a trip, and then it says something's in stock when it's not. That's ridiculous. Alright, um, give me just a minute, guys. I'm taking cards out of sleeves, so I have sleeves. Alright. Yo, Scratch and Tater. Every Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me get caught up here. Let me get caught up here. I just went immediately to start taking these cards out of sleeves. Guys, thanks for coming out to the stream. First person here, Stephen Helms. Stephen Helms, very first person in the chat tonight. And he hooked us up with a crispy $1 bill. I like that, Stephen. Thank you, man. Appreciate the dollar. Scratch and Tater popping up as well. Scratch Tater hooking us up with a crispy $1 bill. I like that, man. Thank you, sir. Shout out to Scratch and Tater for hooking us up. Steven Helms. And we had an absolute bomb come in from Thomas Dumbs, you guys. Thomas Dumbs hooked us up with a $15 stack of cash. He said, hey, hey, hey. That's five bucks for each hay, man. Literally $5 for each one of those hays that he said. Yo, thank you, Thomas. That is awesome, man. That is awesome. I really love I really love doing these streams. So, I'm glad that you guys show up. I'm glad that there's, you know, a little bit of support because it's very expensive to do these and uh, I like to do it a lot. So, thank you guys for showing some love. Uh let me I, I haven't tested out any sounds yet tonight. So, let me bust out the air horns here. Some hype. And I got to listen to that real quick. Make sure that it worked. All right, let me listen. Yeah, okay, it worked. All right, so now that I know that my sounds work and I'm not going to make a fool of myself, here's some turkeys. And we got to drop a big bomb for Thomas Dumbs, you guys. Scratch and Tater and Steven. All right, that's awesome. Man, it is a howling out there tonight. It's cold, it's snowing, and it's just a shitty day. So, I like, my air conditioner is completely broken. It is literally not blowing cold air at all anymore. It's just base. even when the AC part's running, like the AC compressor's running, it's not blowing any cold air. Not even slightly cooler. It's just like a fan now. A really loud, obnoxious fan. So I have to crack open my window, and the wind's blowing like a thousand miles an hour out there, and it's ice, dude. I, look at the, I looked at my screen, literally covered in snow and ice. So, I, don't, I didn't know we were supposed to get any snow, but apparently we are. I have to look online and see, like... Is it supposed to amount to anything or not? All right, hold on a second here. Still taking cards out of sleeves here. We need these sleeves. 
There are some cards in this set that are absolutely insane. If we pull one of these cards, I'm going to lose my mind. Now we've opened up two booster boxes so far on stream. This will be the third. This will be the most expensive one that we've done. This one cost about $160 altogether. Hoping for some good results, of course. And I really hope we pull one of those super rare cards. Now, I'm not going to leave you hanging. I know most of you guys aren't familiar with what's in these sets, and I'm not either. I mean, I know Pokemon somewhat, but I don't know every card that's in every set. So, I'm going to show you a couple of the cards that we're looking for out of this set. So, if you see it, then you'll know by my, re my reaction, and then you'll know too that we just got it. You know what I mean? Oh, crap. I forgot to turn my transition off. Let me turn that off. All right. Okay. So anyway, I was taking these cards out of sleeves that don't need to be in sleeves. Well, I wish they all were in sleeves, but I don't have enough to go around right now. I need to get some more, so I got to sacrifice and take these other ones out so we have some if we pull anything awesome, you know what I mean? Some of these cards are worth a lot of money, assuming that we pull them, so we got to we got to have protection. Got to have protection. All right, Buzz Buzz honey, good to see you, my man. Always good to see Buzz in here. I see Colton and Sky. Hi, Sky. Uh, they especially need to get their website in order when they don't even allow you to call about the availability of products. That's ridiculous, man. That's ridiculous. Yo, we just had a super chat that will come in from Victor Ortiz. What's good, man? He said, Cash Malone. Big pulls only. Man, I hope so. I really hope tonight goes great. I hope we find some fire stuff, some valuable stuff, hard to find stuff. Thank you, Victor, for the $2 dono, man. I, I appreciate it. Every time I get a dono on, on one of these streams, it just, you know, trips me out. I really enjoy doing these streams, so. Appreciate the support a lot. Thank you, Victor. Here's some money train for the boys. Thanks, boys. I'm still trying to round up some sleeves here. I think I have like, I really only need about, I don't know, like 20. Because there should be like, what, 12 holographic cards or, tw well, there's like reverse hollows in every pack, but we're not gonna sleeve every one of those. I'll keep, I'll, I'll put them in where they're not gonna get damaged. But if we pull like some, you know, rainbow or GX cards or something, man, we gotta make sure that we get them into a sleeve immediately. Man, you know what irritates the shit out of me with these uh, these hard shell protectors? Is they suck. It's like static or something. I don't know if it's like static electricity, but it sucks up everything around it and it sticks to the case. Same thing with the sleeves. It has It's static electricity. It has to be. I try to keep them wiped off. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six, seven, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11 sleeves. And let me grab my little box here. Got to grab a couple more. I bought this other pack of sleeves at Walmart, and they're not even close. Not even close to fitting the cards. All right. Let me open these up. Take a couple sleeves out of here. Yo, Thomas, what's good, dude? Thomas R's here. Alright. We'll get started here in just a minute, guys. Make sure you drop some likes for me. If you're watching the stream, say what's up in the chat. I was going to restart the stream. It didn't start very well, but I mean, this isn't a lottery stream, so I wasn't sure if I what I should do. I mean, this is an expensive live stream, dudes. I mean, that box is 160 bucks. you know what I mean? So... I want as many people to be watching as possible. What's the most valuable card you got in a pack? Uh, like, well, it depends if it get, if it grades a ten, 
than over a thousand dollars. All right. If it grades a nine, a couple hundred bucks. I have some pretty neat looking cards. All right. Uh, Michael Hopper is here. Hi, Michael. Hello, mate. My favorite mate from Australia hooking us up with some of that kangaroo cash. Dropping us a $1 Australian Super Chat Dono. Sunglasses guy. I don't know where my shades are at. Michael, thanks for hooking us up. Let me... Trying to hurry up and get this done. I should have done this before the live stream, but it was already so late, you know. I wanted to do a live stream tonight. And I didn't have any lottery tickets to do tonight, so... I was excited when these showed up. Alright, here's a couple more sleeves. Alright, I think that's enough. If we need any more, then I'll pull some more out. Ew, there's a break card. These break cards are like fancy looking, but they're sideways. And they're super ugly. I hate these cards. And so does everybody else. All right, so I think we're good to go. Let me just move all this crap out of my way. Put these cards where they're not gonna get damaged. All right. All right, so anyway, guys, let me straighten these up. We're gonna take a look at our emails here in just a minute. I'm gonna show you guys our emails tonight, then we'll, uh, Check PayPal, and then we'll get started with our box break here. 36 packs of cards. Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. Awesome set. Pretty sure this is one of the biggest sets ever made. So uh, We're definitely not going to find every card, but I hope we find the Lugia card. Let me show you what the rarest cards are here. So, let me just type it in. I was going to put them on. I, I could just put them in the stream, but I'm just going to open them up here on my computer and point the camera at the screen. All right, I'm gonna open up the price list here so we know the price list of every card in the set. All right, let me see here, how do I find? All right, so there's a lot of cards in here, and they, they're they all over the place in value. Some cards are worth, you know, 25 cents. Some cards are worth 5 cents. Some cards are worth $5, $2, $6, $20. I'm looking here. Scrolling down. A lot of cheap common cards and stuff like that. Looking at the list. All right, so if we get the Lugia, the rainbow Lugia card, it's worth over $100 raw. And if we get it graded and it grades a 10, then I'm sure it's worth several hundred dollars, maybe more. I don't know. I mean, it's just basically all over the place. So we'll go and we'll open up cards. And then if we find something, we'll look it up at that point. Like here's one card that's worth $40, uh, one that's worth 30 one that's worth over 100 20 16 10 dollars you know it's it's really all over the board all right so let me show you the cards that i want so these are the cards that i want us to pull tonight i really hope we pull them let me put them up on the stream here so you guys can see them all right so this card i want and it's not even about value it's just because it's a card that i like this card right here, it's called Professor Elm's Lecture. It's a full art card, and it holds its, you know, it, it's got a value to it. It's not crazy expensive, but it's a beautiful card. One of my favorite Pokemon is the green one right over there. It's Chikorita, and that's just a, a dope card. It, it uh, hits me in the 
nostalgia, you know what I mean? And then the next card that we're looking for is any of these three cards. Here's one of them. This is the Lugia GX card. And then the next one is the same Pokemon again, but just a rarer, harder to find card. And that would be this one, the Lugia GX card. And this is one of those cards that have like texture to them. You know what I mean? The super rares, I forget what you call them. Hype, I think this is a super rare, I don't know. There's so many different names. Super rare, hyper rare, mega rare, I don't know, secret rare. And then finally, the rainbow one. Here it is. The rainbow Lugia GX Hyper Rare card. So there they are. So I want to find the Professor Elms Lecture, which is right beside me. You can see that. And then the Lugia GX, the one, this one. This will be the easiest one to find. It doesn't mean we're going to get it, but it's the easiest one to find. And then, hopefully, the Lugia GX, which is, you know, pretty, pretty big ask. Hard to find. And then finally, the rainbow, which, I mean, we probably won't get it. The odds are definitely against us to pull this card. If that card was easy to pull, then it wouldn't be so expensive. You know what I mean? And that's not all. I mean, there's a ton of cards in here. So many different ones, and we we don't have time to sit here and go over every single card in the set. So let me move these off to the side for now. Okay, and then I have another awesome surprise here. Check this out, guys. This is a box right here of Pokemon Shiny Star V. This set was only released in Japan. It wasn't printed for the U.S. yet. I think they are going to print a set in the United States, but this is only available in Japan. This set cost me a hundred and ten dollars. A hundred and ten bucks. Hundred twenty dollars. There's only 10 packs of cards. That's it. Only 10. And that's expensive per pack. But you're guaranteed to pull something good in every single pack. And then they have a thing called a god pack. A god pack for you lottery folks is basically like a win all. So every single card in the pack is a shiny or a rare or something good. The odds to pull a God Pack is 1 in 600. And there's also some extremely, extremely valuable cards in this set. I'm talking like $500 plus. I mean, there is some big money potential in this box. Now, we only have 10 packs to open. That's why we're not going to do this tonight. We're going to open up this booster box of 36 packs of the Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. So, we're going to put this off to the side for now. And when I get when I get some more cards, uh, then we'll open this up. So I need more. I need more than this to do a live stream. There's only 10 packs of cards. I'd be done in like five minutes. So uh, as soon as I get something else, then we'll open up whatever that is and this in the same stream. So the stream could be a little bit longer. All right. And I'm not going to do both of them because this costs like 130 bucks, you know, and this one costs $160. That's a lot of fucking money. And, uh... As you can tell by the amount of people watching that nobody fucking cares. So it's hard to justify spending hundreds of dollars on shit that hardly anybody wants to watch. Granted, I probably should have restarted my stream. All right. Anyway, let's just keep going here. So let's go take a look at our emails tonight from you guys. Uh, I know that we had an email coming from Thomas Dums, I believe, earlier today. All right. Um, email coming in here from Thomas Dums. Thomas Dums, he bought a ticket, and look what he won. Oh, wow. What a cool win, dude. All right, Thomas Dums got this sick win. Check it out. So this is the brand new $5 500 ticket. He didn't get the 500 symbol in the bonus. He didn't get the 500 burst down here at the bottom. He won $500 with a manual win all. Dude, that's crazy, man. Now that's a lot of damage. That's awesome, Thomas. Congratulations on your $500, Thomas. You deserve it, man. 
You deserve a lot more than that, my man. You deserve a lot more than that. All right, that was Thomas's big win. The next email is from uh, nobody because that's it. That's all the emails. Oh, here's one from Richard. One of them is over here. Yeah, yeah. All right, Richard. All right. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I was looking at that tracking number earlier. Looking forward to it. Okay, so... That's really all the emails that we have tonight, you guys. Let's go and take a look at my PayPal and see if I'm filthy rich. And then after that, we're going to get started opening up these packs and see if we can pull something awesome tonight. I'm really excited, so... I hope we get something good. I hope we get something good. Chels, Victor. Oh, man. I hope so, Victor. I hope so. That would be great. Oh, we're just getting started, Thomas R. Shout out again to Michael Hopper for the dono. All right. So I just cracked open PayPal, and we actually have a dono in PayPal from Stephen Helms. Stephen Helms dropped us $11.11. That's a big-ass dono, Stephen. Thanks, man. All right. Shout out to Stephen. 11 11 make a wish she says angels say you win on the fourth ticket i don't have any tickets <laughs> what are you talking about what are you talking about i don't have any tickets last night we got beat so bad on on lottery tickets man i think i won 20 dollars back out of a hundred dollars in tickets so no tickets tonight guys but uh steven if I have enough cash to buy tickets for a stream tomorrow, then I'll definitely use your 1111 towards it, man. All right, guys. Big shout out to Stephen Helms. Here's some money trained for him. Thanks a lot for doing what you do, Stephen. All right, Stephen Helms. What a guy. And some Kool Aid. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's get this party. Oh, sorry, Stephen. Turkey. Damage. Now that's a lot of damage. My leg. Aye. My leg. My leg. All right, here we go. Time to crack it open. Oh, man, I'm excited for this. Let's go. We're going to open the box right now. Make sure you guys drop a like. We're just getting started right now. $160 box of cards. I have to say there was a little bit of damage. See that damage? Now that's a lot of damage. I just said that. So a little bit of damage on the corner of this box here. But that's okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, let's open it up. Nah, Chels. X-Files is done. I deleted the sound effect. No more X-Files ever. Sorry, Steven. All right, it's open. I don't like these booster boxes. I mean, I, I like what's inside the boxes. I don't like the way that these booster boxes are set up these days. It used to be like a box, and these days you can see the sides, which is cool. You can see the cards inside, right? You can kind of see the cards on the side of the box, but I don't like that it's not like a, a box because like when you buy a booster box, you want to be able to put cards back in it, you know? And this one has these big gaping holes. All right, anyway, here we go. We just got it cracked open, guys. Thought there was something on my lens. There's not. All right, we just got it cracked open. Look at that, 36 fresh packs. Of Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. First time opening this up. Ever. So. I'm excited. Look at all that. And the artwork on these packs are awesome. Okay. Let's pull this out. And we'll put the box right over here. Okay. There it is. Alright. All 36 packs. Just like that. All right, let's take a look at these artworks on the front of these packs. So we have a Lugia, which is the card that we want to pull. A Lugia card. So if we get a card with this guy on it, then we're going to be having a good time. Especially if it's a rainbow one. All right, so there is the pack artwork for that one. There's a pack art with Celebi on there. That one's neat. Whoever that guy is, I don't know who this guy is, but... Sweet. And then this last one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that is, man. Yeah, you, know, you ever see those things that float in the ocean? They're like bombs that float in the ocean. 
It looks like one of those with a starfish stuck to it or something. I'm not sure what the hell that is, but... All right, so... Arshi Blows. There it is. All right, so there's our four different pack artworks. Normally, when I do a lottery ticket stream, I let my donors pick what tickets I scratch off, like, in what order. Oh, that's a glare. I'm like, what the hell is that? But because I don't have any tickets tonight, I'm going to let my donors pick which pack they think I should open. There's four different artworks, and I'm going to let you guys pick which pack you think I should open first. All right, here we go. Move my camera a little bit. All right, hoping for some awesome pulls tonight, guys. All right, uh, here we go. Let me see. First person that dropped us donut night was Steven. Steven Helms. So you get to pick the very first pack artwork. We got Lugia, Celebi, uh, and uh. All right. And then after that is Thomas Dumbs. And if you guys don't know the names, just say one, two, three, or four. One, two, three, four. Good. All right, Steven wants the fourth pack. I'll put another one there. All right. So that's the one Steven wants us to do. Scratch Tater, third from the top. What, so you want this one? You want the third one over? And then Thomas Dumbs. What are you feeling, Thomas? Pick us a lucky one, man. That's right, dude. That's right. All right, we'll give Thomas here a second. Scratch Tater. Yo, Italian Pappy. What's up? All right, guys. Man. Third on the top row. There is no top row. It's just this row. One, two, three, or four. I, I, don't, I don't know what you mean, man. I'm not understanding. All right, here we go. Let's do the first pack. All right, very first pack of this booster box. Steven Helms picked it. Let's see what we got. My focused in. Good. I don't have autofocus turned on because if I turn on autofocus, then it's going to have this stupid block on the center of the screen, and nobody wants that. All right, Steven wants number three. All right, number three. Let me put another one there. Yeah, so I can't use the autofocus. So maybe if I, like, hold it here. Kind of hold it here, and then I'll turn the autofocus off. And then that should be about where we want it to be. Good. Oh, okay. You want number two? Sounds good. All right, here we go. Our first three. Let's get started, guys. Let me put these ones off to the side for now. All right, very first pack. Let's go. Man, I hope we pull something early tonight. That'd be great. Man, they opened up really easy. Some packs of cards open up real nice, and some don't. Oh, there's something. I see something already. I don't know what the hell it is. It's, like, shiny. It's not... I don't think it's a rainbow card, but it's something. It's something. Yeah, we got something in here. I don't know what it is, though. All right, the pack trick is four cards. One, two, three, and four, I believe, because it's sun and moon. All right, we got something in this first pack. Who picked this one? Steven picked this one. All right, off to a good start here. All right, we got Psychic Energy, Faba, Sightseer, uh, Deli Bird. Deli Bird? Is it Deli Bird? Deli Bird? Uh, Popolo? Popolo? I don't know half of these guys. Uh, Spinner Arc. Spinner Arc. Uh, Ninkata, Blitzel, we have a Slowpoke, that is a weird, weird artwork, and then we have a Celebi, whatever this is, I don't know what this is, but it's a Celebi card, and it's holographic, I don't know what the hell this is, but I've seen, I, like, I don't know what you call this, I don't know what you call this, I was watching a video of somebody else opening up this set, and this is special, but I don't know what you call it. But it is a Celebi rare card. And finally, a McCargo GX card in the very first pack. What a great start, you guys. What an awesome start, man. I need to find my sleeves. Where's my sleeves at? Wow, what a fantastic start to this pack opening. All right, McCargo GX. Fantastic. I don't have any of these cards. I have like a couple commons, maybe like one 
holographic card or something out of, you know, from like a random booster pack. But we're opening up an entire booster box, so we're going to get some get some stuff, and I don't know half of it. I don't know 90% of it. So everything is going to be a big surprise. There's our Macargo GX card right there. And then we got our Celebi card right here. What a sweet looking card, man. Prism Star. Is that what it's called? It's a Prism Star card. I think that's what it is. All right, that's a sweet looking card. All right, let me take a look at the condition here. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. See a little bit of whitening on the edge, but just barely. It's a nice looking card, so. All right, we got a Celebi Ultra Prism card on my Cargo GX in the very first pack. That's great. All right, let's go to our next pack. All right, big pulls tonight, guys. I hope we get, I hope we score something sweet. And I can't wait to open up this pack of Shiny Star V. Uh, I don't know when we're going to open it up, but hopefully soon. I'm so tempted to open it up, so well, we got to do it quick, guys, because if we don't do it fast, then I'm just going to open it off stream, and I mean, it's very expensive, so I, I don't want to waste the content, you know what I mean? Ah, yeah, I mean, it has some value. I, I'm, I doubt that it's insane. Some cards you see and you're like, wow, that one should be worth money, and it's not worth very much. And then some cards, like, you see them and you're like, ugh. And then it's worth, like, a ridiculous amount of money. You just never know. I mean, we would know if we looked them up, you know, but I'm not going to look up every single card. All right, here we go, guys. Our next pack. Okay, card trick one, two, three, and four. Can we get one of those beautiful, super ultra rare rainbow cards? The Lugia one. Jess, hello. Thomas, lucky lightning man. Here we go. Next pack, we have a, I think, I don't know what, the dark energy maybe? Oh man, do we have something in this pack too? Oh my god. We got something in this pack too. Is there like one of those, one of those, uh, prism cards in every pack or something because i think that's what it is i don't know i don't know if they're in every pack or not i i doubt i don't think so but maybe all right here we go we have sableye electro power knock two is that you said knock two that's a cool artwork uh spinner arc ninkata blitzel isn't this exactly the same cards out of the last pack Oh, that's fucking weird. All right, we didn't get this one last time. And a, a little let me out. We haven't. We didn't get that one. Next we have. Oh. Oh. I I I didn't even realize this was the reverse hollow. So that was the reverse hollow and a Ginsect GX card out of the out of the second pack. Wow. Wow. But. The centering is absolutely horrific on this card. That is bad. That's really bad. The centering, it's harder to see on these shiny cards. Let me get a regular card. So on a regular card, see the yellow border around the card? The centering means that it would be perfectly centered, right? Look at this card. So over here, you see some silver border. Over here, you see less. Down here, you see a lot. And up at the top, you don't see any. This card is horribly, horribly off-center. That card would be graded very, very bad just because of that. Even, even though the card's perfect, because it's cut so bad that it would score either a low grade or, or an error card. Or an error card because it's cut so far off. Even the back of this card, the centering down here... I mean, it's like a mile up here. Man, that's really poorly cut. And it doesn't matter because I, I, I doubt this card's worth anything anyway, so I'm not going to get it graded, but it's just the point. Really, really horribly cut card, but I'm still hyped that we got something there. All right, Chels, let's go Rainbow. I hope so. Monica, you're nice looking. Do you got a girlfriend? I'm opening up Pokemon cards at... 3 3 30 in the morning i don't got a girlfriend no all right here we go let's put this into a sleeve 
Still a nice card. It deserves a sleeve. All right. So not, we're definitely not off to a bad start, you guys. I'm definitely having a good time here. All right. So we'll put this up here. Man, isn't that weird? Like the regular cards, like the uncommons and stuff, we literally pulled pretty much the exact same cards twice in a row. Except for like two. Like in the same order, the same cards. It's so irritating because when you're trying to build a set of cards and you open up a whole bunch of packs, right? And you get literally like a hundred of the same card. It's like, come on, man. But I mean, if they gave you a whole a big selection, then you would have to spend less money to build the set, which the, they want you to spend more money. So I get it. I get it. All right, here we go. Huh. One day, man. You're talking about a girl. I've believe me. I've had I've had plenty of girlfriends and plenty of action. I'm I'm cool doing what I'm doing. So. All right, let's go to our next pack. Go to the next pack here. All right, this one has the Celebi artwork, and we did pull that Celebi card already tonight. All right, let's do this. Hold on a second. All right. Got to wipe off my hands here. All right, here we go. Our next pack, the Celebi artwork. Can we pull a rainbow card out of this one? Now, we're off to a really good start here. We're off to a really good start. We don't want to... We don't want to pull all the good stuff right in the beginning, but it'd be nice if every pack was a good pack. You know what I mean? All right, here we go. One, two, three, and four cards. Give us the Lugia. I'm going to hock a Lugia. <laughs> All right, here we go. Can we get something out of this pack? Something nice. Uh, we have a fighting energy, a shuckle, spell tag, memory energy. All right, here's some new stuff we haven't seen. Uh, Famphony. Famphony. I never know how to say that. Wormpull. Mer. Marinia. Mer. Yeah, ni Marini. Ya mask. Stun stun fisk. Looks like a fish that got ran over by a steamroller. A reverse hollow scyther card. Oh, I like scyther. That's pretty sick. And the last card is our first non good pull. But hey, I need it. I need it for the collection, so we'll take it. We'll take it. All right, that's pretty cool. That Scyther card's neat. Reverse Hollow Scyther. That's sick. Now, when I'm, you know, in my binders and stuff, I'm trying to build what's called a master set. A master set is every single card in the set, every card, and then the reverse hollow of that card. Like, like this card, for instance, Shuckle. So there's this card, and then there's also the same card, but it's shiny around it. It's called a reverse hollow. So to build a master set is really difficult. Extremely difficult. All right, here we go. All right, so we're done with our first couple of picks here. Let's go and let me lay these cards out. I think I have a couple more people to pick here. A couple more people to pick. 48 people watching. A little bit low, but it is kind of late. And I didn't restart the stream like I wanted to. Um, Super Chat, $19. 19 bucks. Thank you, guys. Thank you for helping me with my extremely expensive live streams. And... What am I missing here? Sell a B-pack, right? All right, here we go. So, the next dono that I had tonight was Victor Ortiz. Victor, one, two, three, or four. You get the next pick. And then Michael Hopper. You're my last dono, Michael. So, one, two, three, or four, sir. All right. All right. We'll let them pick here. Yeah, I know if a card's really off-center, like really bad, you get 
an off center gr on the grade. But if it's just like, you know, off center, they just lower the grade instead. So if you get a card that's off center, you want it to be really off center or perfect. <laughs> the Lugia pack for them, Lugia pulls, dude. If we if we pull a Lugia, man, I will I will literally shit my pants. I'll freak, man. Especially if it's the rainbow one. All right. I already showed you guys earlier the cards that I want to pull. But again, we're looking for the Rainbow Lugia card. We're looking for the Lugia GX card. Which is the same exact card, just less rare and less valuable. And then the Lugia GX, which is basically not worth very much at all. But still, I want it. I want it. And then the card that I want the most right here, Professor Elm's Lecture Full Art card. Oh, I need this card, man. I need it. I need that card. All right, let me put these back over here. And a super chat from Derek. Derek, showing us some respect. Thank you, Derek. Means a lot, man. Means a lot. I'm used to doing my lottery streams and some nights getting absolutely pounded with the donos, man. But when they come on streams like this, man, it just surprises the shit out of me. Thank you, Derek. You're the man. Here's some turkey. Some turkey for the boys and some Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah. Thanks for being a savage, Derek. Appreciate the dollar. That gets us to an even $20. An even $20. All right, Michael, which one did you want? Second pack? All right, you got it. Okay, let's put these off to the side. And you're just in time, Derek, so you're going to pick next. All right, here we go. A Lugia pack. Okay, we got this. We got this, I believe. Man, the one good thing about these packs is they open up effortlessly. Some packs are really hard to open. These ones open up really smooth. Okay. All right. Is this gonna be the big money pack? It feels heavy. It feels heavy. Let's see. One, two, three, and four. All right, here we go. Going out, Victor Ortiz, my man, let's go. Uh, uh, Lightning Energy. We have Choice Helmet. Uh, Banteen. Giraffe Rig. Popillo? Popillo? I, I don't know. Skadoo. Onyx. We have Ralts. Cintiquil. Wow, now that's a pull right there. And this is what attracted me to this set. Like, the Vivid Voltage set that we've been opening up, or that we did the last two streams, is really cool. But I like I like sets that have Pokemon that I really love in them. And this just hits me in the in the nostalgia hard. Cyntaquil. And there's a lot of Pokemon from uh, Gold, Silver, Crystal, that second generation. And uh, I just... That's what, that's what made me want this set. And we need some more, so... We're going to need more than one booster box, guys. We're going to need a couple more to be, to build this set. It just sucks that they're expensive. Well, more expensive than a than a the newest set anyway. All right, Cyntaquil, beautiful card. A lost blender. God, I hate when I lose my blender. And finally, oh boy. Wow. Now that is a pull for me. I'm sure it's not worth a lot, but a sweet coon holographic card that's hot that is absolutely hot let's go i like that oh that's hot that's hot all right one of the legendaries from gold silver crystal literally the face the pokemon on the crystal version box wow what a sick card i really like this one let me put this one into a sleeve that's a beautiful card And that card looks pretty good. Centering's not perfect, but it's good. All right, centering on the back looks good. For the most part, a little bit off. On the front here, I'm seeing it's definitely off to this side. But not it's not horrible. All right, we'll put that into our good pile here. Okay. 
move these ones out of our way. All right, up next, Michael Hopper. Michael Hopper picked this pack. Let's see if we get a good one out of it. Thanks again for chilling with us tonight, everybody. Jess, hi guys. Thomas, Chels. Uh, go, what up, go? Lucky Lightning Man, Buzz Buzz Money, cha ching. A birdhouse, choice helmet, sounds dirty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, toys here. All right. I was going to ask if there was a point where the centering is so far off it becomes value. Yeah, I'm sure if it's like, maybe if it's like really, really like, you know, maybe. Maybe people collect those like error cards, you know. People like error cards. Just like error notes with money. You know what I mean? They're awesome. The worse, it, the worse it's messed up, the more money it's worth. All right, here we go. Our next pack. One. One, two, three, and four. I didn't forget how to count to four. The cards just kind of stick together a little bit. All right, here we go. We have Grass Energy. Wait and see, Hammer. Fairy Charm. Uh, Silk. Psych. Sile. Seal. Silcoon. Papik. Papek. Uh, Bruxish. Now that is a scary looking fish. Um, Dadini. Cintiquil. The other artwork. Nice. That's nice. So we already found the other artwork. There must be two of each. Um, Wilmper, or Wormpole, sorry. Uh, Lit, Litleo, Litleo, and a non-holographic Pyroar. So, pretty cool. Really, really cool cards in this set. Really, really sweet cards. All right, let's go to the next pack here. Come on. Gotta pull something sick. All right, um, Derek. You're my last super chat, man. My last dono. Thanks for keeping the dream alive, my man. You get the you get the last pick. All right, here we go. One, two, three, or four, Derek. One, two, three, four. Um, number one. All right, he wants number one. Going with the Lugia. That's definitely the most popular pick. That's the card that we want. Hopefully, it's inside a, a Lugia pack. All right, here we go. Next one right now. Man, this is so much fun. I love doing this. All right, can we get something nice in this pack? We have one, two, three. Three and four cards. Money. All right. Energy card. Profes Professor Elm's Lecture. This is the card that we want, but not the card that we want. So we are looking for Professor Elm's Lecture. Let me find it. In case you didn't see it. Hold on. Where did it go? That's my horse. That's Grandma. That's the other Lugia. Crap, where did I put it? The other Lugia. Here it is. So this is the one that we this is the one that we just got. And this is that one that I put on screen is the full art one that we want. So I really hope we pull that card today. That would definitely make me happy. Alright. But it's still a cute card. The reason I like this is just because it's it's the nostalgia. This is one of my favorite generations of Pokemon ever. And Chikorita is my favorite Pokemon ever. So I love all three of these starters. Very cool. All right, here we go. So Professor Elm's Lecture. Uh, Mina. What's wrong with her? Um, Cur Curlia? How does it go from Ralts to a name that doesn't sound like Ralts? How do you say that? Curlia. Curlia. Yeah, it has to be Curlia. 
Jigglypuff, Alolan Meowth, um, Chub, Chubchu, Chubchu, Tangula. I like this artwork. This is another card that I saw and I'm like, wow, that's a cool set. It's like Tangula. It looks like a yarn ball with some yarn balls behind it. I like it. All right, here we go. Alolan Voltpix. Listen, that is a cool Pokemon. Alolan Voltpix and a Heat Factory Prism Star card. Very cool. So we got our second Prism Star card of the stream. We got that Celebi Prism card. And now we got the Heat Factory. Pretty sick. And our last card is a non-holographic uh, Sheninja. Sheninja. All right, cool. Let's put this one in a sleeve. Prayer Life. How you doing? All right, here we go. Put that one into a sleeve. We'll put these ones off to the side. All right, I think that's all my super chats. Let me shout them out one more time, guys. Love to do this. Thanks for helping me. Uh, Stephen Helms, Thomas Dums, Scratch and Tater, Victor Ortiz, Michael Hopper, Derek, and of course, Stephen Helms again. Okay. Let me grab a drink and then we'll go to our next pack. Yeah, I know Kristoff. How you doing tonight, man? Yeah, it's not worth it, Jess. People, people weigh them, and then they know if there's an extra pack in there or not. It's a scam. If you don't buy them right from the store, then it's it's not worth it. Okay. All right, give me just one second here, guys. Man, I wish I had some pizza, guys. I'm freaking hungry. All right. All right, here we go. Let's get on to the next pack. We're still looking to pull something awesome tonight. So far, we've had a couple neat, you know, a couple neat cards pulled, but nothing too crazy. All right, let's get our money's worth. This box cost me a lot of money. So we're hoping for something good here. I always try, I always hide the code cards because I don't care about the code cards. I don't want them. But they're, they're va they hold value. If you get like, you know, a couple hundred cards are worth, you know, some money if you sell them. But it's more about it. There's two types of code cards. I'm going to put these down a second. All right, there's two types of code cards. I'm going to hide the one I just pulled. All right, but here we go. If you pull this code card then that means you have a pull in the pack. That means there's something good. Whether it's a hollow or a rainbow card or a GX card, that's what this one means. If you get this dark green one, that's solid green, that means your pack sucks ass, basically. Now you can still pull something, you know, in the reverse hollow spot, like a prism card or whatever, whatever. But you're not going to get anything too good here. So this means shit, and this means awesome, or decent, or good. So if you get this, you know, that's why I always hide the cards, because I don't don't want to be spoiled, you know what I mean? Yo, Boring Gamer HD with some pizza slices. I knew I could count on you, Boring Gamer. Thanks for feeding me, man. I'm starving. When I say starving, I weigh 500 pounds. I'm not fucking starving, but I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Don't judge me. All right, here we go. One, two, three, and four. Let's go. Give us our first rainbow. Lugia, let's get it. All right, electric energy. Uh, we have Carblink. Carbink. Make sure we're focused up here. All right, Carbink. We have... Oh. shin e -octic? shin -octic? Well, like, what's with the extra eye? 
sh, like shit, sh, sh, enoctic, shenoctic, sh, shenoctic. I don't know. Uh, Kelsion, Slugma, Slugma nuts, Papa Leo, Papa Leo, uh, Litleo, Ya Mask, Skadoo, 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 Skadoo. A reverse hollow spitter art card, and finally, a non holographic Rimobi. Okay, nothing too good in that pack right there, but those reverse hollows, we need those to make a master set, so we'll take every one of those reverse hollows. All right, Mr. Grotto, my man, finishes a donut. We're worried about pizza, are we? <laughs> All right, here we go, next pack. Give me something good, please. I gotta do good on every booster box. Can't afford them. <laughs> it's a lot of cash. I mean, the lottery tickets are expensive too, obviously, but with lottery tickets, if I win, I can go to the store and cash them in. Pokemon cards, you know, I can't like go to the store and cash them in for the next day, you know what I mean? All right, here we go. One, two, three, and four. Every time I every time I say one, two, three, four, I want to say I declare a thumb or I can Yeah, I can't help it. It's just what I think every single time. Alright, here we go. Okay. All right. Fire energy. Ooh, that's hot. Uh, all right. I thought we thought I felt something on the edge. I think there might be something in here. I feel like a little. The edge feels a little weird. Maybe. All right. Fire. It's hot. Catch him. Catch custom catcher. Fairy charm. Hit him on top. Uh, Chub Choo. Fanfany. Fanfany. Worm pull. Marlene, we're gonna call that. We're gonna call that one Marlene. You mask because you're two faced. Dust Ox and a Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet's a cool Pokemon. It's all. It's a you know. If you watch the anime, you know what I'm saying. Just that Pokemon just always pops out of its out of its Pokeball by itself and just is just to be an asshole. It's hilarious. All right, here we go. Next one. Come on. God, I love to do this, man. I really enjoy opening these cards on stream. I have some videos that I recorded that I want to post, but I don't know. Like, I I want to post them on this channel because uh, this channel is monetized. You know what I mean? Now, I doubt they get a lot of views, but they're monetized, and I need every dollar I can get because this shit's fucking expensive. You know what I mean? But then I'm like, oh, should I post it on my second channel and then try to get my second channel built up and get it monetized or what? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like that that video I recorded of me walking into a store, lifting up the shelf and finding a six-year-old pack of Pokemon cards. That video could get a million views. And it's like, do I? It probably won't because it's me. But like, do I want to post it on this channel so I would get paid if it did? Or do I want to post it on the other channel? I, I just, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Next pack. Come on. Good pack. One, two, three, and four cards. Oh, that card's like beat up. Okay, here we go. We have an energy, Calcion, a netball, Whitney, uh, Marlene. Larvitar, Slowpoke, what a creepy ass card. Chubchoo, Alolan Diglett, Reverse Hollow, Fan, Fanfy, Fanfy, and a non holographic Cough, Cough, Agurgus, Cough, Agurgus? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Nothing good in that pack, so. It's been a few packs since we've had anything good. 
Here, let me get the link here. Trying to find it. I gotta change the name of that channel. The name of the channel is Cash Games, but when you type in Cash Games, you don't see the channel or anything. You see 35 pages of cash games, like poker, or slot machines, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, cash games. I gotta change the name of that channel. Can somebody find that channel, please? I, uh, I'm trying to think of a video here. I'm trying to think of a video that, uh, that I did on that channel. You type in cash games, a hundred thieves pops up instead of cash games. There was that video of that fucking toothless meth head that made about me. What an idiot. I gotta start posting more videos, man. I'm looking, like, it's showing me a lot of my videos. Like, this one, 15,000 views. 27,000 views. 350,000 views. I haven't had a banger video for a long time. I can't find my other channel. Hey, Grotto's got it. All right, guys, that's the link to my second channel. I think I'm gonna start posting uh, some some of the my videos on there. So, guys, go over there and subscribe to my second channel. Help me build it up. There's only a couple people here, but still, go do it. I think I need to. I like that name though, Cash Games. You know what I mean? I like that name. Alright. Let's keep going here. Our next pack. Pokey Mini Mart. How do I go? How do I do, buy packs? Well, you're going to have to go to the store and buy some. Or order some online. I don't know. They're not for sale here. Alright, here we go. These are mine. One, two, three, and four. I'm not going to lie, guys. I saw the code card. This pack has something in it. You ready? All right, here we go. Energy card. Uh, Ninjask. Fairy Charm. Mantine. We have Poplio. Litlio. Yamask. Skadoo, Skadoo. Chansey. Oh, that's a cute card. Up next, Reverse Hollow, Wormbolt, and a Holographic... Tapu card. Sweet. Alright, let's sleeve it up. Sleeve it up. Alright. So, not pulling what we want. But we still have a lot of packs left to open here. We're looking for that Lugia. We're looking for that Full Art. Professor Elm's Lecture card. I hope it gives it to me. I don't know when I'm going to be able to afford to buy another booster box. Okay, we'll put these off to the side. All right, let's do a, a Lugia pack next. I'm not sure. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So, 26 packs left. After I open this, 25 packs. Okay, here we go. Okay, come on. Hey, I don't know, Colton. Maybe. Maybe. I really wanted to stream, uh, I really wanted to do live streams playing Pokemon on my emulator, but I can't, I just can't figure it out. I'm not smart enough to figure it out.
All right. Here we go. Give us something good in this pack. One, two, three, and four. These cards look nice. Crisp. Yo, Tim. What's up, Tim? That's right, man. Having a good time doing it. All right. Here we go. Psychic energy. I can see the future, and I see a big pull here. Come on. Uh, what is that? Memory energy. Kelsion. Lamp pet. Chansey card. We have Trico. First time seeing that one. Uh, Papek. Scyther. There we go. So now we have the Reverse Hollow and the regular. Sunfisk. Ninkata Reverse Hollow. And a Holographic Tapu Coco card. All right. So we pulled the this one. And now we just pulled the other one. There must be a set of them. I don't know all these Pokemon. So. All right. We'll put that one into a sleeve. Just because it's a hollow, we need that for our set. Trying to build up the whole collection. I'm going to need a couple more booster boxes of Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. Need to get a couple more of these boxes. What a cool set. And it's like a massive set. 214 cards. Damn. Okay, next pack. I feel like I've been doing this forever, but we've only opened up 11 packs, including this one. All right, here we go, boys. Okay, Psychic Energy. Uh, we have Stantler. Quilava, nice. All right, Quilava. Uh, Giraffarig, Alolan Diglett, Trico, Chansey, uh, Pear... That Pokemon's cute. Pear... Page... I don't know how to say it. I don't think we've... I, we've seen this Pokemon like 10 times, but we haven't seen this artwork. I like that. Like those little peppermint swirl things behind it. Yo, we have a Raikou Reverse Hollow. That one's sick. And finally, a Ho-Ho non-holographic card. Man, I wish that was holographic. That would have been... That would have been sick. All right. Hey, some really sweet cards. Even though they're not super valuable cards. Alright, here we go. Next pack. Come on. Give me a rainbow card. Give me that full art Professor Elms lecture card, please. I'll be a good boy, I promise. Okay. I want to thank everybody for watching tonight. Make sure you drop some likes. <laughs> Nerds nerds all right here we go my little nerds one two three and four all right here we go give me that rainbow we got a fire it's hot it's gonna be a hot pack flaffy whatever that is pseudo wudo snubble ralts uh danini danini cintiquil uh pineco a Gramble, Reverse Hollow, and Toucan Sam. Follow your nose. All right, follow your nose. All right, let's do a Lugia. I'm a weeb. Yeah, you're a weeb. Weeb. Quit being a weeb, weeb. All right. I love doing this, man. Nerds. One, two, three, four. Later, nerds. Okay, four cards. Fighting energy. We're fighting for those rare cards here. Sel Kelsion. Sightseer. Ooh. Sightseer. Whitney. Houndor. Alolan Diglett. Trico. Chansey. Whatever that is. Reverse Hollow. Durant. And... A Houndoom non-holographic card. At least we're still seeing cards that we haven't seen, and we're going to continue to see them because there's a lot of cards in this set. 214 cards. 214 cards plus the secret rares, which I don't think are numbered. I don't know. Or that... I don't know. I'm not sure. All right. Ooh, an Eevee. First Eevee we've got. Okay. Let's go. Rainbow card. Full art. Professor Elm. Let's go. Lugia. One, two, three, and four. 
We haven't pulled any full art cards or anything yet. All right, fire. It's hot. Come on. Be a hot one. Go, go. Shuckle. What is there? Two of every poke? Ah, oh, my. Look at that. Look at these cards. Alolan Diglett. Or Doug Trio. Doug Trio just is like three little worms, three little hot dogs sticking out of the ground, right? Alolan Diglett, they just put hair on it. That's funny. That card's funny as shit. All right, anyway. Any oh, guys, we got something. Please, please, please. Oh, oh, my God, we got something. I see it. I was just saying, we haven't had any full arts or any rainbow cards, and we have something in this pack. I don't know if it's a full art or a rainbow. Please be the Lugia or the Professor Elms card. Come on. Come on. Alolan Doug Trio. Make sure we're focused in here for this. Eevee. Uh, Hoppip. Papik. Durant. Chub. I don't know. Carbink. And. Hmm. Faba. Literally, the card that I did not want, but I, I needed to build the whole collection, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Full art. Faba. All right, Faba. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, not the one that I wanted, but we need it to build the set, so we'll take it. That's our very first full art of this opening. Centering is off quite a bit. It's really thick over here and down here, and then it's thin and thin over here, so the centering's off pretty bad on that card. All right, let's go to the next one. Garbage Pail Kids, I remember those. All right, one, two, three, and four. Come on, Lugia. All right, we have Water Energy, Cascoon, Weight and Sea Hammer, Netball, Chinchulu, Chinchu, uh, Mareep, Marlene, Snubble, Slugma, a Prism Star card. That's sweet. Uh. Lucimine, is that how you say it? That's cool. And a non-holographic Steelix. That's still a sick card. All right. Put that into a sleeve. Okay, next pack. Oh, we got Meryl. All right, Meryl, cute. Wait, I, I, I didn't do the pack trick, hold on. Yeah, I got some rainbow cards, Scratch and Tater. One, two, three, four, just not the ones that I want, you know what I mean? All right, here we go. Can you guys keep your politics out of my stream? All right, here we go. Energy. Mixed herbs, huh? Faffy. Electabuzz. Meow. Onyx. Uh, Morol. Mareep. Wormpool. Reverse Hollow. Kelsion. And a non-holographic Gramble card. Okay, we can do this, guys. We can do this. I know, Jess. Burning through them quick. I need more cards, damn it. Need more people to watch. One, two, three, and four. Okay, what do we got? Grass energy. Wow, what's that one? 
Vespuin? I don't know. Heracross, Pinsir, Houndor, Cutie Fly, Chinchu? 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 You? I don't know. Hopip? That's cute. Papik, Tangrowth, Reverse Hollow, and a Beauty Fly for the rare. A lot of cool cards in this set, isn't there? All right, here we go. Good thing about Pokemon is how popular it is. It's a good, you know, it's a good investment. It's, you know, still one of the biggest companies in the world today. So in, you know, 20 years, it's going to be nostalgia for the kids of today, you know, or tomorrow, kids of tomorrow. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. We have Energy, Pinsir, Choice Helmet, Morty, Blitzel, Onyx, Spinark, Papio, Morlul, Reverse Hollow, Mareep, and a non-holographic Prime, Prime, Prime Arena? I don't know. I don't know. I try. I try. Okay, let's do this Lugia pack next. Come on, give me the Lugia. I hope we get at least one Lugia out of this booster box. But it's like those Vivid Voltage booster boxes. We opened up the first booster box, didn't get one Pikachu card. And then in the second box, we got three, di three you know, not three different ones. We got two different ones, but three Pikachu cards. Come on, give me that Lugia. One, two, three, and four. Okay, here we go. Water energy. Okay, we got water. Counter gain. Area dose. Moo Moo Milk. Larvitar. Litwick. Chikorita. I'm not a big fan of that artwork, but hey, Chikorita. Hopefully we get the other one. Knock two. Houndor. Reverse Hollow Litwick. And a non holographic Toxapex. All right, where's the pulls at, guys? Hi, Susan. Susan is here. Okay, come on. Big pack. Big pack. All right, we got one, two, three, and four. All right, energy card. Carbink. Whatever that is, mushroom. Fairy Charm, Ninkata, Meryl, um, Wormpool, Litwick, Combi, Reverse Hollow, Silicoon, and an Elect... Electriv... Elect... Electiver? Electiver? Okay. We haven't seen that one yet. Okay, next pack. Man, opening up these packs is so satisfying. All right. One, two, three, four. Money. All right, we got a fairy energy. Hip on top. Uh, whatever that is. Meg... Mega Rhea Erna? I don't know. Fairy Charm, Pinecone, Combi, uh, Litleo, Cutie Fly, Hopip, Reverse Hollow of whatever that is, and oh, we got oh, a full art GX card, and it has the texture to it. Wow, there we go, guys. There is our first full art textured card, right? Except for that uh, full art trainer. Still, hey, it's not bad, guys. It's not. It's not the Lugia, but it's something, right? Finally. And the centering is off horribly again. But that's okay. That's okay. It's going into my collection. Not going to sell it anyway. Nah, probably only worth a couple of bucks. 
All right, I hope we pull one of those big hitters, guys. Get some value back here, you know what I mean? All right, that was a pretty cool card. Yeah, the artworks are really cool. All right, come on. Give me one of those four cards that I showed you guys earlier that I want to see tonight. Out of 36 packs, you think we'd be able to find one? All right, Water Energy, Mixed Herbs, Stantler, Morty, Bruck, Bruxish, Larvitar, Carbink, Chikorita. Oh my God, that's adorable. That is so adorable. Look at that. Oh my God. Wow, I love that card. Love that card. Scyther, Lapras, Reverse Hollow, and a Fortress card. Wow, that card is awesome. I know, Jess. It's adorable. All right, nerds. Next pack. Okay. I will, Jeff. All right, energy. Whatever that is. Mina. <laughs> There's another one of those. Alolan and Doug Trios, Snubble, Marlene, Cyntaquil, uh, I don't know, an Ultra Beast, ooh, it says Ultra Beast, Combi, a Reverse Hollow, Prime, Prime Marina, and a, oh my god, that is one of the cards that I wanted to pull, let's go! <laughs> I didn't show this earlier. Because there's so many cards that I want out of this set. But that is... Oh, shit. I just knocked my camera. Hold on. I got to fix my... Oh, there it is. It came back. Anyway, this is one of the cards that I wanted to pull. I didn't show it to you guys earlier, but this is one of the cards that I wanted. This is Chikorita's second evolve form. Beautiful. I never know how to say this. All these years. Meganeum. What a badass card, man. What a badass card. All right, that is one of the cards that I wanted to pull. And the hollow is just so cool, man. And the centering is, like, perfect on this card. Surprisingly. All right, that's a good one. Sleeve it up. Protection. Quick ripping herb. Yeah. All right, that was a good pack. I gotta get rid of some of these. Quite a mess. All right, boys. What do we got? Okay, let's go to the next one. And that cold air blowing in through the window feels great. Okay, one, two, three, four. All right, here we go. Energy, uh, Groovial, Bryon, Bryoni, I don't know. Uh, Trumbeak, Sunfisk, Larvitar, Litwig, Chikorita. Uh, knock two, reverse hollow, com, com, coba, coba lion, and a unknown. Uh, no, Jess, I never got into that. I'm not sure. How many packs do I still have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Still have eleven packs. All right, I really hope we pull one of those cards that I'm looking for here. One of them good ones, man. We are running out of packs. Let 
Little, there's something in here. I don't know if that's one of those uh, whatever cards, prism cards, or if it's a rainbow card or something. But we got something in this pack. Okay, here we go. Come on, good one. One, two, three, four. Please be a good one. All right, we have lightning energy, electric energy, um, Faba, Electabuzz, Spell Tag, Cutie Fly, Chinchulu, Hopip, Papik, Slugma. Oh, we got something. Quilava, Reverse Hollow, and a. I, I, I know what this Pokemon is, but man, the name of it. Uh, Sigleaf? I, I, I don't know. Hey, cool. It's a cool card, though. It's a cool card. That's neat. It's a GX card. Nothing too crazy. It's nice to see something, though. All right, boys. Come on. Give me something. One, two, three, four... Okay, did I, did I do the trick? Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Psychic Energy, uh, Danini, Adventure Bag, uh, Sip, Slip Loom, Houndor, another one of those Ultra Beast cards, Larvitar, Tangula, Ninkata, ooh, a Reverse Hollow Espeon, and what? Uh, what? A Reverse Hollow Espeon, and then the regular Espeon back to back now. That's weird. What are the odds of that? You know, it's nothing crazy, but still it's just weird to see the same card in a you know the reverse hollow and the regular back to back like that Okay next pack All right one, two, three, four. Come on, give me the Lugia, please. Or the Professor Realms lecture. All right, it's hot. We haven't seen this one yet. Ether Foundation employee. Quilava. Um, Puppetar. Puppetar. Noctu. Chikorita. Don't know how to say it. Hopip. Carbink. Reverse Hollow, a Lowland Persian, and a holographic chandler, chandelier, a, a holographic chandelure. Come on, man! They got like a chandelier Pokemon, a a, a teapot Pokemon. They got all kinds of weird stuff. I saw one that looks like a pirate a pirate ship wheel or something. Like what? What is this? Like what is this? We need it, but weird. All right. We're going to go over all the pulls out of this booster box. As soon as we're done, we're almost done. We only have like nine packs of cards left to go through, guys. Make sure you drop a like for me. Appreciate that. All right. Here we go. Next pack. Come on. Give us the Lugia. I have yet to buy a booster box and pull something that I actually wanted out of the damn box. Come on. One, two, three, four cards. Let's go. Big one. All right. Energy. Cascoon. We have Lost Blender. Custom Catcher. Eevee. Bruxish. Durant. Mareep. Bamfy. Jump Pluff. Reverse Hollow. And a Slow King for the rare. What a cool card. All right. Let's go to the next one. Man, we are almost done. I can't believe it. Ugh, Marlene. I know it's not Marlene, but I call it Marlene. Marlene. Okay, one, two, three, four. I like to watch Among Us, but I don't play it. All right, uh, Grass Energy, Electropower. 
Knock two. Bayleaf, there's a card that I wanted. All right, it's not a, a valuable card or a rare card, but it's a card that I wanted. So we got the Chikorita, we got a Bayleaf, and we got the Holographic Magnium, or whatever, however you say it. I'll sleep that up later. All right. Marlene. Cyntaquil. Another Ultra Beast, the same one again. Combi. Houndor. Reverse Hollow Chansey, and a Unknown again. All right, guys, we're coming down to the last couple of packs here. Really hoping for something. What do I got? I got one, two, three, four. I got six packs left. Let me grab a drink, guys. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel, you guys subscribe because we're going to be opening up this Shiny Star V extremely expensive packs of cards from Japan. You can only buy these in Japan. $130 for 10 packs of cards. Ridiculous. That's resale value, obviously. All right, here we go. Next pack. All right, come on. Professor Elm's Lecture, full art card, or one of the Lugias. Come on. One, two, three, four. All right, we have a Fighting Energy, Skip Bloom, Pinsir, uh, Groovial, Alolan Meow, Yamask, Jigglypuff, Marreep, Alolan Voltpix, Reverse Hollow, Ultra Beast, Po -po I don't know. Po -e -po and a holographic Ultra Beast card. That's sick. All right, so we got a holographic Ultra Beast. That's neat. Nag Naganadel. Yeah, beats me, guys. Beats me. I can't pronounce half of these. Me too, Chels. Me too. In that pack, I, that box I just showed you, it's expensive, but every single pack, every pack has something good in it. And you have a chance to get a God pack. And the God pack is all, all amazing cards. Every card is a good card. A shiny card, a full art, Charizard maybe, I don't know. All right, one, two, three, four. All right, here we go. We have Energy, Kelsion, Lampent, Sableye, Hopip, Eevee, Hopip again. Yeah, okay. A more aggressive version. Pipik, Durant, Reverse Hollow, Ninjask, and a Mill Tank as our rare. We haven't seen that one yet. Okay, last four booster packs, guys. Four more chances to get the Lugia. To get the Professor Elm's Lecture Full Art card. Can we do it? Okay, one, two, three, four. All right, we have an Energy card. Danini, Heracross, Fairy Charm, Alolan Meowth. Chipchu, I don't know, Tangula, Alolan Voldpix, Snubble, a Reverse Hollow, Cyntaquil, and a Gold Card, Full Art, Electro Power. Wow, that is a rare card to pull, guys. That's a rare one right there. We'll take an Electro Power Gold Card, and it's Full Art. Got the texture. This is a rare, rare card. I think that's the first Gold Card I've ever pulled before, right? This is a Gold Card. So this is a very rare card. I don't think it's very valuable. I mean, it's got some value, but I don't think it's super valuable. It's not like a Lugia, but... Wow, that's a cool card. All right, we got a gold card, boys. Not bad. 
All right, that's sick. All right. Last three packs. Come on. Wonder if it's still snowing outside. Okay, one, two, three, four. Come on, Professor Elm's lecture. Lugia, please. You gave me a gold card. Why not why not one of those lesser rare cards, huh? Alright, here we go. Energy, Heracross, Pinsir, Memory Energy, Trico, Papik, Scyther, Sunfisk, Chikorita again. So cute. A reverse hollow Electrive and a lantern for the rare. All right, last two packs. I'm going to save the Lugia pack for very last. We're going to save that one for very last, and hopefully we'll pull the Lugia out of the Lugia. Come on, man. Come on. One, two, three, four. All right, energy, Eridos, Moo Moo Milk, whatever that is, Onyx, Morlul, Mareep, Wormpool, Jigglypuff, Reverse Hollow Stunfisk, and a Umbreon. Wow, there we go, Umbreon, not a hollow, but still a cool ass card. All right, and we're down to the very last and final pack of this live stream. 36 packs opened, but we didn't get what we wanted at all. We got some cool cards, though. Hopefully, we can do another booster box when I'm rich. $160 a box. God damn. Cyntaquil for the 80th time. We didn't get one Totodile at all. All right, please be a good pack. Please be a good pack. One, two, three, four. Please be a good pack. Please be a good pack. All right, here we go, boys. We have Energy, Lost Blender, Silicone, whatever that is, Cyntaquil, Pinecone, Combi, Litleo, Cutie Fly, another one of those sick uh, Prism cards, Thunder Mountain. Sounds like a Disney ride. And an Ente, Ente non-holographic card to end it off. So not a bad pack. We got one of those uh, Prism cards. So that's pretty sick. All right, so let's recap. Let me show you everything that we pulled out of this booster box. All right, here we go. Let's go over all the cards that we pulled out of this booster box. All the... You know, the good ones. Not all the reverse hollows and stuff. Just the cards that I like specifically. And, you know, the full arts and so on. So, kind of disappointed. A little bit disappointed. Now, I, this is the first one of these boxes I've opened for this set. So, I need all these cards to build a set, right? So, I'm cool with it. But, a little disappointed. Not even one of the, th of the three Lugias. Not one. Didn't get that full art Professor Elms card. When are we going to do another box? Someday. Someday when people start watching my channel. Alright. Here we go. We didn't really pull very much good stuff, honestly, or at least in my opinion. I don't know. For 160 bucks, I kind of feel ripped off. All right, here we go. Macargo GX, that was our first pull. We had the Celebi uh, Prism Star card, which is sweet. Uh, the Thunder Mountain, we just pulled uh, one of the rare uh, Tapu cards. Another holographic Tapu card. Uh, one of the Prism Stars, Prism Star card. Uh, Suicune, now that's a sick card, holographic. 
we had a Gensec GX card. Um, Verizon, America's number one cell phone provider, GX Full Art. Um, a Faba Full Art card. Literally, the one that I didn't like the most. We'll take it. We'll take it. We had a Chikorita. A couple of those are so cute. Love that. Electro Power Gold card. Uh, one of the Ultra Beast Hollows. A Bay Leaf. Um, a Chandelier Holographic. Don't know how to say it. GX card. And the Magnium Holographic card, which is one of the cards that I wanted. So I got my evolutions here. Evolution, we have Eevee. Or Eevee. Uh, Chikorita, Bayleaf, and then the Magnium card. So, they're definitely cards that I wanted to pull. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for this uh, this live stream. So, thanks for watching. Sorry it didn't go very good. Sorry it did not go very well, but it's just the way it goes. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the next live stream, whenever that is. I don't really have any cash to buy tickets tomorrow, so I don't know what the plan's going to be. Uh, have a good rest of your night, and I'll see you then. Bye, guys.